Hey what's up YouTubers, it's Dansky and in this tutorial we're just going to be taking a look at some of the cool creative brush presets that come with Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to start by selecting the line tool and I'm going to hold shift and draw a straight line. Let's make sure my line is black and I'm just going to increase the weight just slightly and we can go over to the brush palette on the right here. If you don't have that, just go up to window, down to brushes and select that. And you might have a few come up here and you can pick some of these and they give you some, some different styles. What we're going to do is select this little icon in the top corner, it's kind of like a menu icon, and go down to open brush library. And you'll see here you have a whole load of different options. So just for this tutorial, we're gonna go on artistic. And again, you've got even more options here to choose from. I'm just gonna select ink. So you'll see here, that I get a whole list of other brushes. I can drag this down as well. And if you want to navigate through other brush libraries, you can just select using these arrows here and you'll see that there are absolutely loads of different brush options. So we'll just go through some of the ink brushes. So you can start at the top. This is a calligraphy style brush. And you can actually select this and increase the weight of the stroke as well. So this is all still editable. And these different brushes just add a range of different effects. And if I say, if I draw a circle, so this works for any stroke, whatever it is that you're doing. So you can draw a circle like this, and then you can decide to. Wow, that's uh, that's not even distinguishable as a circle anymore. But you can apply a whole load of different effects. So if you were trying to create like a a coffee or a a tea stained effect. You know when you put your mug down and it leaves like a, a coffee or a tea stain? If you wanted to create something like that, playing around with some of these settings might be quite a good way to achieve that. But there's loads of different styles. And like I said, you can go in, you can make these thinner, you can make them thicker. And then once you're happy with it, the same as you would normally, you can go to Object, Expand Appearance, and rather than being a stroke anymore this becomes a shape that you can select and apply a color to as you would with anything else and there we go that's a quick look at some of the brush presets in adobe illustrator as always guys leave any questions or comments below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and i'll see you next time